flashes on Venus were not lightning. They were caused by other phenomena. What scientists found out. Welcome to the Space Diary channel. Before watching, I want to ask you to help our channel by liking and subscribing. Spacecraft exploring Venus have previously detected flashes of light in its clouds that many scientists thought were lightning. But a new study published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Planets, shows that these flashes may be caused by meteorites burning in the atmosphere. On the one hand, if there is no lightning on Venus, it means that future missions to the second planet from the Sun will be as safe as possible in this very inhospitable world. On the other hand, the absence of lightning excludes the possible existence of life in the atmosphere of Venus. Scientists have counted the number of flashes of light on Venus, detected by the Japanese Akatsuki spacecraft, and compared this figure with the possible number of meteorites that could have burned in the planet's atmosphere. Given that the number of meteorites falling on Venus is comparable to the number of meteorites falling on Earth, it is not too difficult to make such calculations. Given the high speed with which Venus orbits the Sun, scientists have concluded that a fairly large number of meteorites of a suitable size can fall to the planet, burn in its atmosphere, and this is the cause of the flashes of light. Earthly vehicles cannot stay on the surface of Venus for a long time, not to mention the fact that life can exist here. The reason is extreme temperatures and pressure. However, some scientists believe that at an altitude of 50 to 70 kilometers above the surface, the conditions are more acceptable for the emergence of life and for the construction of a human colony in the form of cloud cities if there are no lightning bolts on Venus. Future spacecraft will be able to dive deep into the Venusian atmosphere and explore its safety. Some scientists believe that the more moderate conditions in Venus's clouds may allow for extraterrestrial life. For life to appear here, a source of molecular nutrients is needed. Lightning, which converts some of the Earth's nitrogen into biologically usable forms, could provide the energy that would make this source possible. If there are no lightning bolts and the flashes of light are caused by meteorites falling, then it must be a large space rock so that its explosions can be seen from space. Yet, the authors of the study insist that even small meteorites can cause such flashes of light. If this is the case, then such explosions occur in the upper atmosphere and will not be dangerous for future missions to Venus. As for lightning, their existence is indicated not only by flashes of light, but also by static interference detected by landers with a frequency of 10 to 80 hertz. On Earth, lightning can cause such interference. Therefore, the scientists' conclusions are preliminary and require additional data to understand exactly what is happening on Venus. But this requires additional missions, although NASA plans to send spacecraft here in the near future. It may not happen soon. Was this video interesting for you? Please share your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for more interesting videos.